The third joyful mystery is the birth of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sins against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our power death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginnings, none never shall be worth without an end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation in the temple. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among 
among women and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding of Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our power death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our power death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is done, never shall be worth without an end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of Mercy. Mm. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech Thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, and sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we hasten to you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful, 
O Mother of the Word incarnate, do not despise our petition, but in your mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and our power death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginnings, none ever shall be world without an end. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. May the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit descend upon us and remain always with us. Amen. Our Lady of Divine Love, pray for us. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please kneel in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Horatio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people task to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. 
Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Our Lady of Divine Love, pray for us. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please be seated.
Good morning. Today is the Solemnity of All Saints. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Elmer Ilaw with Reverend Kevin Cosme. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We are here gathered because we are grateful to God for the safe night, for this new day. We are grateful to God for giving us helpers, all the saints in heaven, including our loved ones who are already there. So we'll pray for them. For surely, they pray for us. To prepare ourselves for the sacred mysteries, let us in silence recall to mind our sins and ask for His mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of their conciliation with you, for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel came up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels, who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe, tribe of the children of Israel. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, 
people and tongue, they stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne, and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne, and around the elders, and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshipped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessings and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, Honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes? And where did they came from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that the longs to see your face. Lord, the Lord's are the earth in its fullness the word and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? One whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from the Lord his Savior. Such is the race that seeks him, that seek the face of the Lord of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, See what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do not know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure, as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come to me, all you that labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, 
for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Once again, as we always say, every day is a blessing. Thank you, Lord, for the safe night. Thank you, Lord, for this new day. For God, who is always good to us, three clubs. For us, and we thank God also for giving us loving loved ones who have gone ahead of us. So thank you, Lord, for them. For us here, three clubs. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, the oldest, the oldest word for church is ecclesia in Greek. So when somebody says, I belong to the ecclesia, it is understood that he belongs to the group in Tagalog Katipunan of believers that consider Jesus Christ as divine, as savior to be worshiped, no longer the emperor. Kasi sa history ng panahong yun, emperor ang itinuturing na Diyos. In our teaching, there are three ecclesia or church or katipunans of believers in different state of life. First, we call it the Pilgrim Church. Tayo yun. Tayo yung mga naglalakbay pa. Katipunan na mga nananampalatayang naglalakbay pa. Second, the suffering, the suffering church. Those in purgatory. They suffer because they still pay for their, the debts or the sins not uh, repented during their life here on earth. And then the triumphant church, triumphant church, which comprises all those who have fought the good fight of faith here on earth and won the battle. Or those who have already passed through the suffering of purgation but has been released now in heaven. So ito yun. At uh, papaano naman yung mga nasa hell? The word church is no longer applicable for them. For God and for Jesus has no more room for them. Sila na yung mga napahamak. And they in the triumphant church, sila yung mga nasa katipunan ng mga nagtagumpay, are the ones we honor today. If we celebrate Heroes Day for Isal, if we celebrate Heroes Day for all heroes, you know, for Mabini and others, Bonifacio, we must therefore acclaim and give feast for them because they are the heroes of our faith. Heroes of our faith. They are our saints, both known, both known and unknown to many, like our like our parents, the unknown heroes of the faith, like your spouse, your children, relatives, friends, people dear to us who are already enjoying the fullness of life with God in heaven. They are now home. They are now 
home. They are now in that state where we, where we truly belong. As Philippians says, in Philippians 3.20 says, Our citizenship is not here, but in heaven. So, andun na sila. At we know, there is no place like home. Yung iba sa atin ay pumupunta sa abroad, mahabang bakasyon. Pero alam nyo, karaniwan, pagkatapos ng dalawang linggo, tatlong linggo sa ibang bansa, kahit palakad ng lakad, parang namimiss mo na ang mga ingay o ang mga nangyayari sa Pilipinas o sa inyong bahay. There's no place like home. And our home is to be with God. To be in the state, in that state, to be in that room no? prepared for us by Jesus. Others say that they are dead. So it's useless to ask for their intercession. Kasi nag humingi tayo ng panalangin sa mga saints at ganun din, pwedeng humingi tayo ng panalangin sa ating mga nauna na na mahal sa buhay. But no, they are not dead. They are not dead. Because they live out the beatitudes of our gospel in our gospel reading today. And Jesus said in Mark 8:35, He who loves his life will lose it. But he who loses his life for my sake and the gospel will receive it. Hence, they, they, the martyrs during the first three centuries, uh, tatlong daang taon, mahigit, na nagsuffer ang mga Kristiyano, na kapag ka hindi mo itinakwil ang pananampalatayang Kristiyano, hindi mo sinambay yung emperor, Ikaw ay pwedeng ikulong doon sa Coliseum doon, no? Papakain ka sa Leon, ipapako ka sa Cruz. Pero sila yung okay lang kahit gawin sa akin yon. Parang yung kay San Lorenzo Ruiz. Ano? Um, ayon doon sa nagsasalita noon na na yung tourist guide, ang mga Kristiyano daw habang kinakagat ng mga leon ay kumakanta pa ng Alleluia. Pero, natatakot. Pero yun, no? hanggang sa huli. So, they must be alive because Christ said it. I will repeat, He who loses his life for my sake and the gospel will receive it. They are alive. Those whose mortal bodies died for Jesus and the gospel those who live the holy life of the Lord, those who were Christ-like, like our beloved dead, they are alive with God. And where God is, there they are. For God is everywhere. So we are so connected to them. We are so connected to them and they are so connected to us. And since they are already so configured with Jesus, they help us. They are our advocates. They are our helpers who plead God for us in our needs. Sila hindi patay, kundi buhay. Sinasabi natin, nasa kabilang buhay. They are in the spiritual world, but so connected to us because God in that state and our God here is one. Kapag may pumanaw, sabihin ay, patay na si, si Mang ganito. Patay na si Mrs. ganyan. Tama rin yung salitang patay. Pero para sa atin, mas angkop ang salitang siya ay sumakabilang buhay. Patung, mula sa buhay na hindi gana, patungo sa buhay na ganap kasama ang Diyos. So, the call of this feast for us, for me, for all of us, first, to continuously be connected to our loved ones who have gone ahead of us through our prayers and remembering. 
they will always be very happy for that. I'm sure they are happy today. They will surely help us overcome our struggles, especially temptations to sin. So, magabuting tawagan natin sila o hingi natin ng intercession. Second, second call of this feast, to revive in us the desire for our own sanctification. To live our call to holiness, to also obtain eternal life and be with them someday, sooner or later. Nababanggit ko noon, lagi alam natin na after 10 years of our death, lalo na kung 20 years na tayong pumanaw, halos wala na makaalaala sa atin. Lalo na kung 50 years, wala na halos makaalaala sa atin. Pero kung home na tayo, with our loved ones there, with all the saints, okay lang. Kahit wala makaalaala sa mundo, basta andun tayo. Thus, for us is to always be cognizant about our daily life events. By our daily examination of conscience and always ensuring that what we follow are the values of Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and the saints. Siguraduhin natin yun araw-araw. Para araw-araw tayong configured with the saints. Siguro magandang itanong natin, kung ako ba'y kukunin ni Lord ngayon, ako kaya'y makakasama ng mga saints na ito. Handa ba ako? Sabi nga, Jesus, be prepared. Kung kunin ka ni Lord ngayon, mamaya o mamayang gabi o bukas, sa tingin ko ba? So, examination of conscience. So, our prayers, Lord, take care of our beloved loved ones who have died in this world and help us to be saints. God bless us. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we honor all the saints in heaven, including the most unassuming and unknown, let us offer our humble prayers that as many as possible may share their eternal happiness. God of all holiness, hear our prayer. God of all holiness, hear our prayer. For the Church, the earthly home of all saints, may she be the loving mother who teaches her children to pursue their sanctification by leaving the values enshrined in the Beatitudes. Let us pray. God of all holiness, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father and all other spiritual leaders, may they be living beacons of holiness patterned after the example of Jesus and Mary and all the saints. Let us pray. God of all holiness, hear our prayer. For all our leaders, may they give justice to the oppressed, work for the true, 
for true peace and with their right use of funds and resources, ensure that our countrymen do not go hungry or thirsty. Let us pray. God of all holiness, hear our prayer. For Christians who are persecuted for their faith, may they stand firm in the face of suffering and death, confident of the glorious reward that awaits them in heaven. Let us pray. God of all holiness, hear our prayer. For all our deceased brothers and sisters, may they be admitted to the joys of eternal life in heaven through the mercy of God and the intercession of all the saints. Let us pray. God of all holiness, hear our prayer. For all of us, may we discover anew the call to become saints and pursue this goal through the generous fulfillment of our duties in imitation of the saintly people who have preceded us. Let us pray. God of all holiness, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own personal intentions and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Let us pray. God of all holiness, hear our prayer. Let us also include in our prayers those who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries today. More years, their prayers be granted. We pray for the intentions of our loved ones, our people who requested us to pray for them. Let us remember their intentions and let us lift them up to God. Lord of all holiness, God of all peace, listen to our humble petitions and grant eternal happiness in heaven to all those you have redeemed through the blood of Jesus the proclaimer and exemplar of the Beatitudes, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness and this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that may sacrifice in yours be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings you bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as you believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. To lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory endowed upon those exalted members of the Church, through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with a multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, all the clergy. Let us remember our departed loved ones. Remember our loved ones, brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, with all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always free from sin and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. 
Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, the fontal source of holiness, the King of all the saints. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please all kneel for the prayer for all saints and angels. All together, how shining and splendid are your gifts, O Lord, which you give us for our eternal well-being. Your glory shines radiantly in your saints, O God, in the honor and noble victory of the martyrs. The white-robed company follow you, bright with their abundant faith, they scorn the wicked words of those with this world's power. For you, they sustain fierce beatings, chains, and torments. They were drained by cruel punishments. They bore their holy witness to you, who were grounded deep within their hearts. They were sustained by patience and constancy. Endowed with your everlasting grace, may we rejoice forever with the martyrs in our bright fatherland. O Christ, in your, in your goodness, goodness grant, grant to us, us the gracious heavenly realms of eternal life. Saints and angels of the Lord, pray, pray for, us. for us. Please all stand. We shall now honor and give high respect to our loved ones who are departed by incensing our wall of remembrance. those who serve in this Holy Mass for your love offering. For Reverend Kevin, thank you very much. Three claps. <laughs> Obey your heads for the final blessing. May God, the Father of mercy, who created you for the joys of heaven, grant you the abundance of everlasting life with him. Amen. Amen. May God, the Son, who became a human being and died on the cross for our sake, Enable you to enjoy the fruits of His incarnation, death and resurrection. Amen. May God, the Holy Spirit, who purifies you with His presence and strengthens you with His grace, lead you to the home of all the saints in heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist is offered. Go and live as citizens of heaven. Thanks be Sweet to God. God. I am the bread of life, he who comes to be shy.